All right, today we're going to look at lucid dreaming exercises and things you can do to help you lucid dream and just have a bit more luck, for want of a better word. Have a bit more luck with your with your lucid dreaming because there's been a few people emailing me saying, I don't know what to do, you know, I'm having trouble lucid dreaming, I, I can't seem to make it work for me. So these are a few exercises that I've sort of thought about, which I know will help you. So here we go. The first one is reality check anchoring. Now, when you normally do a reality check, uh, you are testing whether you're awake or asleep. So an example would be to pinch your nose and try and breathe through your nose. In a dream you can, in waking life you can't. So what you should do is anchor the reality check to something in waking life so that you remember to do it. And this is actually training what's called your prospective memory, which is your memory for things in the future. Okay, so retrospect is obviously looking back, looking in the past, prospect is the future, it's the future tense. So your prospective memory would, uh, an example of using your prospective memory would be like this. So you'd say, right, every time I hear someone laughing, I'll do a reality check. Okay, and then in the future, when you hear someone laughing, it triggers something in your mind, which says, actually, I need to do a reality check now because you remember your intention from the past. I hope this is making sense. So a good uh, thing to anchor a reality check to would be whenever you hear someone laughing, uh, you could also say random objects. So you could say, right, whenever I see a flower or whenever I hear um, someone shouting, whenever I handle money, these, these sorts of uh, triggers, if you will, you can use these and say, right, every time so-and-so happens, I'll do a reality check. And this will actually train you so that you're more likely to have the reality check in your dream. It's a really cool uh, little trick you can you can use to uh, to actually get the reality check to show up in your dream because that's one of the main things that people have difficulty with is actually getting the reality text to show up in your dream. Sorry about that. I had someone uh, randomly try and call me right in the middle of me filming. Typical. Okay, so exercise two. Imagine what the lucid dream will be like. So this is a visualization technique. You are going to lay down before you go to bed and vividly imagine what you want the lucid dream to be like, okay? And this is gonna kind of tie into another one I'm gonna tell you in a minute, but just lay there and really think about the details. What can you what can you feel? What can you hear? What will you be able to do and say? What will be around you? Think about all of the details that will come into play in the dream. And this will help you to actually have the lucid dream. Exercise three, practice superpowers. Now. Let's say you would like to be able to uh, fly in a lucid dream. Spend a few minutes every day imagining what it will be like to fly. So watch videos. I think the closest thing you can get to flying for this example is wingsuit diving. So I would go into YouTube, type in wingsuit diving and watch people do it. And really, you know, put it full screen and really pay attention to it. Imagine what it would feel like and actually put yourself in that place in your mind. So you're thinking about exactly how it's gonna feel. And this is sort of preparing yourself for the experience in the lucid dream. You're preparing yourself to have that experience. So, exercise four, and this is going back to something I always uh, come back to on these videos, and that is meditation. So I'm gonna say meditate before you go to bed for about 10 to 20 minutes. I usually do it for about half an hour. And what this will do is it will get you in the right frame of mind for a lucid dream. Okay, it will get you in the, the state of mind which is self-aware, focused and clear. So this is a really good uh, exercise to do. I would advise everyone trying to have a lucid dream or anyone who's struggling, who can't get results, meditate before you go to bed. You can also do it in the morning, but for lucid dreaming it's going to work better in the evening. So, exercise five. And this is kind of related to the first one. And this is think about uh, a lucid dreaming storyline. So. Much like you uh, would lay there and visualize what you want the dream to be like, take it a step further and lay there and think about what the storyline would evolve to be like. So hopefully that's those exercises have helped you out. If you have any other problems, please leave a comment on the video um, and or send me an email. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so you can get updates. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, this is a new uh, way which people can support YouTubers by donating a small monthly amount and it's much better than having to put adverts all over videos or constantly promote an ebook or something like that. Uh, so yeah if you'd like to go and check that out the um, link is patreon.com forward slash how to lucid um, but there will definitely be a link in the description for that as well so please go ahead and check that out and I'll see you in the next video.